What's going on, man? So what has been going on with the car? Well, I know there's a big hole here that uh, I believe and, we caused that last time, and everybody's been wondering, what's up with Orlando's Evo? Well, uh, it's been a long time to try to get all the parts from the machine shop. Uh, just actually not the parts, just get the machine shop to do the work. Uh, but finally, everything's been taken care of. The block's here, the head's here, and uh, we can start having some fun. Oh, man. So take us on a tour. Let's start with the turbo first. What do you got going on? It's a billet 6266 from Precision. Oh, yeah. Look at that beast. Brand new, too, isn't it? Yep. It's even got the little paper in there. Yep. Nice. And that's uh, courtesy of uh, Boost Lab over in Tampa area. Oh, they yeah. uh, hooked me up pretty good with it, so Boost Lab, you're awesome. Nice. Now, did they do anything special to this turbo? No, it's just a factory from oh, Precision. Yeah, because I know they do custom turbo. Yeah, they do too, custom right? work, too. Uh, I also got the wastegate from them. They also hooked me up with a real good price on that, so let's get nice. it. Thanks to uh, Kirk and Ryan over at Boost Lab. Yeah, they're they good are guys. Good guys over there, so. Uh, down the line here, we got the uh, Quartermaster Street Twin, new eight leg design. That's um, a beast of a clutch too, isn't it? Well, we'll find out how it is. <laughs> and uh, the STM ported intake manifold. Wow. Now, uh, just out of curiosity, I know a lot of people get like the big like sheet metal intake manifolds. What's your opinion on these versus those? Uh, um, it's all about how you want your power delivery, in all honesty. Uh, the uh, factory style intake manifolds, they, they keep the power band lower mm -hmm. and uh, they still flow pretty decent up top. If you're going for all out performance, all out drag race, peak power, by all means, you can go with the sheet metal or uh, something along those lines. But for me, it's street car. I'm trying yeah. to keep as much of my power band as possible. Um, ideally, I would like something with a like 70 millimeter flange with a bigger throttle body. But for right now, we're running the stock throttle body nice. with just a STM support job on the intake manifold. So then, this uh, intake manifold combined with this turbo should give you a pretty decent mid range then with a lot up top, I'd imagine. It's it's still gonna it's still gonna come in a little later than I'd like. It's mm -hmm. courtesy of my GSC S3s. Oh, S3s. Yeah. So uh, the power band's gonna be a little bit less than ideal, mm -hmm. but it's gonna make some power up top, so we should be all right. Nice. And uh, over here, we have the built two liter. We have Wiseco 1400 HD2s. Oh yeah. 10.5 to one compression, uh, manly turbo tough rods, uh, main studs, uh, king bearings. Holy cow. And uh, most of this was supplied from TS Comp. Now the, the rods, are those I-beam or are those eight? There's I-beams. Yeah, they're those are steel I-beams, so uh, one of the best rods that you can get out right now, it's mm -hmm. in here. No, we're not messing around. We're putting the best parts we possibly can in the engine. Yeah, dude, this is beautiful. I like how you've done a, you know, a lot of attention to detail. Like, look at how the, the block is all freshly painted. and These look like they're new. Yeah, all the, yeah. All the free slopes are done. Everything was taken out, tanked, cleaned up. Um, Engine was done over at uh, Scotty's Race Engines here mm -hmm. in, in uh, Spring Hill slash Pasco. Mm -hmm. uh, they're one of the go-to guys in this area for race engines. So mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully this engine is uh, everything that it's supposed to be. Oh man, so. that's cool. And then with the uh, the head work you got here, you doing any uh, porting or anything here? Unfortunately, no. It's a stock head. It's just got the GSE mm -hmm. um, springs retainers and GSE S3s, it's just a stock head. And yeah. just, right now it just had a three angle valve job done to it, uh, decked, cleaned. Oh, that's cool. So it's just, it's been freshened up and it's, yeah. it's ready to roll again. Ready to go. And then, uh, what are you gonna do with, uh, what's in here? Are you gonna open that up and let us see what's in there too? Yeah, I'll be opening it up and uh, I'll be installing the uh, OEM RS LSD into it. Uh, at least give this car a fighting chance for some kind of traction with that right front wheel. <laughs> wow. So uh, with with the hopes of 700 horse, yeah. we're going to be shredding that right front tire. With a and yeah. we also want to reduce the chance of breaking the uh, the, the diff inside the TK. So mm -hmm. anything that we can to help it out for right now, we're going to do it. Nice, dude. I got to congratulate you on this, man. You're doing it right, oh. dude. You high five. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> so. All right, man. So there's the update. Uh, 
So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna follow up with them here shortly. We're gonna take a look at that T-case. You're gonna get to see the motor get dropped in. And then uh, Ryan is gonna tune this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be fast. <laughs> Woo!